Hello, everybody. It's, this is random <laughs> message. Uh, this is Rastagal, aka Angelic Empress. Hope you can hear me. <clears throat> I had a lot of uh, just info to share, downloads that's been happening to me over this Mercury retrograde. I don't know about y'all people. But, like, this is so intense in a good way. Um, also, in a um, just eye opener, like, it catches your attention type of way. Like, my ancestors has been like heavy in my energy and my dreams <clears throat> oh man <clears throat> if you're just tapping in and listening treading in lightly um welcome welcome everybody okay uh this is a dark screen message Again, random. I got music in the background, so I hope you can still hear me. You know, when things happen to me, I, I'm the type that sits back and observe. And I also have to absorb everything that's, like, going on. Like, this Taurus hair treads lightly. And I've been, like, wanting to do readings and messages, but I just, like, fall back and hold back sometimes because I really have to, like, feel it for me to deliver a message. Because when I deliver a message, it makes waves here on this internet. It shakes and moves mountains. And my life as well as other people's lives. So I really tread lightly um, coming on my, my page to deliver messages. I realize that. I've seen it. I've, you know what I mean? We're all um, icons here on this planet in our own way. But... <clears throat> Y'all guys, y'all know when I come up on here, <laughs> me come up on here to deliver a message. Yeah, it's, it's, it's important. So yeah, I don't know everybody like, have y'all been feeling like heavy, like the energy around you is a little heavy, um, the other day, I was feeling really um, just tired and drained, you know, and I have to, like, sometimes I give in and just relax and rest, but sometimes I get up and I, I have to fight because I got, like, stuff to do, you know what I mean? So I have to get up out of that energy and press on through. Um... But sometimes, you know what I mean? I don't know if you can tell. When it's good energy, you ease into it and you just drift off to sleep. No pressure, no fighting, you know what I mean? And you wake up with ease. When it's a negative energy, like you feel extra, extra just um, weight on you sometimes, like your body gives you signals of like things happening in the spiritual realm to you. Like for instance, you get headaches throughout the day, then you're laying down to relieve it and you still wake up with that headache or you have a headache in between you drifting off to sleep. So you know that that's like a negative energy um, or you get like, or you see like a dizziness 
in your dreams or when you're trying to wake up, you feel like an energy is holding you down. Those are spiritual attacks. And trust me, I've experienced those. Um, but like this time around, um, and I got my spray here. I'm going to go ahead and spray again. Take back my energy. Jesus name. Help me to deliver this message. Spirit guides and archangels protect me in Jesus name. Taking my energy back. You got to take your energy back. And by you doing that is you waking up and you just continuously, in spite of the pain you're going through within your body, because that's a spiritual attack, you're pressing, like I said, on through and you're working through things regardless. And it was crazy because like one time I was recently this this past week trying to just accomplish something and I just was so tired. It took me all day to accomplish like one thing. <laughs> I'm serious. And the next day I felt better, lighter, and I was able to finish out my task. But I don't know, it's just sometimes also like I was saying before, my ancestors been in my dreams heavy. So they're here watching over me in the spiritual realm as well as the physical because I feel their energy. I feel their energy. And they be in my dream, literally. Um, like stronger than before and I see them. So that just like brought to my realization if they're heavy in my energy and in my dreams, they're protecting me, they're guiding me, or they're showing me something. You know what I mean? That's what I got from what I'm going through from my experiences on the spiritual realm and physical realm. Um, this is the eclipse moon. We was in Taurus, now we're in Scorpio. You know, the Taurus is always, like, by the books, you know, justice to be served type of energy, doing what's right. And that uh, Scorpio is eclipsing things out of your life, you know, closing a door, opening another, just taking away things out of your, out of your way moving mountains and I've been just praying lately for that to occur like to just move things out of my life mountains out of my life energies out of my life mountains again out of my way and my spirit guides and ancestors been here to help me and also to do that for me you know what I mean to do so I feel better, you know what I mean? Today, I actually, this week, I've been feeling better. But last week, man, it was so heavy. And like I said, these mood cycles definitely played an effect on me. I don't know about y'all people. My gosh. It is my birthday, or it was. <laughs> yesterday so I'm just so blessed and feeling blessed to see another year it's just another year for more blessings and just accomplishments to to create you know what I mean life changing you know moves to make is how I'm looking at things and my spirit guides was definitely talking to me last night or yesterday um, and I'll show a screenshot because this is how they talk to me I, I, I'm going to show y'all but I got on here because I've been singing, singing this gospel song a lot before um, last week just encountering my ancestors and their protection and guidance and their energy um, and I don't have just any kind of ancestors 
here on my altar, I have some divine, beautiful, kind, strong, powerful people. And they don't play. I'm telling y'all. Um, I've uh, been singing a song lately. It's called, I Have Angels Watching Over Me. It has just been coming to me. These songs I've been singing, like from church time, and definitely I've been like really singing that for sure. And then just to experience that from last week. Um, and that's what I'm going to call. I'm going to call this dark screen message because collective, I want to let you know too, it depends on who you serve and how you look at your life um, and your higher in your higher way or higher self. You have other people watching over you, the universe. You have angels watching over you and they're, they're watching everything we do. And sometimes when you slack off or you get comfortable, you know what I mean? They show you signs or things that occur in our life to shake us up, to wake us up, to get us back in line um, on our path and mission. And that's how I'm feeling of what's occurring in my life. Because I have a goal and mission here and purpose here on this earth. And they definitely put me back in formation at times in my life. They do. Um, and we have to take heed to it. I definitely took heed to it uh, yesterday. I'll show a screenshot of a picture I literally saw on someone's car license plate. It was a scripture. I said, my gosh, I can't believe I saw literally and understood the um, license plate message. Um, and then I look it up and read it in the Bible. And kid you not, after reading this, this is pretty much a, like a, a prayer protection scripture for me is how I got it, the message. Um, and he's also letting me know what he's doing who he's handling or what just the spirit realm is taking care of for me uh, to move mountains and for me to continue to press on forward. And he's warning people. He's warning these enemies and energies and entities that continues to stand in my way or um, overstep boundaries and my energy, or just in my way in general. He's gonna remove, and he is moving these people out of my life or energies out of my way. Um, scripture seven made my eyes like wide and open because after seeing that message on a license plate guys yesterday, before I stepped out to go into my, my place or destination I was going to, it rained right after and it was pouring heavy. And I was like, I'm gonna just wait. <laughs> I had my umbrella in the car, but I was like, I'll wait till it finish. Um, and I felt like that was his showering and covering over me. That's how I felt when it rained after seeing that message on a license plate, that scripture. And I said, okay, you know, Father, that's a message for me. I'm going to have to check into that later. But it rained right after. And scripture 7 says, from this picture I'm going to show you, but the seven script, the seven, uh, verse 7, uh, says here that he reaches down your hands from heaven oh let me reread let me reread that and oh, this mercury retrograde <laughs> reach down your hands from on high and deliver me and rescue me from the mighty waters from the hands of the foreigners 
what on earth? He's pretty much the way I felt in that car before I even read this scripture today, guys, is how I felt in the car before I even read this this whole chapter um, that I'm about to share with you shortly. And seeing that message on the license plate. <laughs> so he's he's making ways. He's making ways for me. The eight verse says, Whose mouths are full of lies, whose right hands are deceitful. So I'm gonna read those two together for you again. That was seven. He said, reach down your hands from on high, deliver me and rescue me from the mighty waters, from the hands of foreigners, whose mouths are full of lies, whose right hands are deceitful. Bam, that's like a message right there. <laughs> Everybody can relate to, but definitely, definitely me. And like I said, I've been singing this, this song a lot lately. Just, I have angels watching over me. And I kept repeating that part specifically a lot. And I love that song. I forgot who sings it, but um, it's like, a, you know, a um, beautiful uh, song to, I'll see if I can link that song down the bottom in my description. Uh, for you all to check out as well. Uh, the verse 9 says, I will sing a new song to you, O God. On the 10th string, Larry, I will make music to you. So i just been from my soul just singing deep down or humming that music to myself. And I know it's pleasing to the universe. When they hear your voice, they hear you sing, to hear you hum it is like a a string on a um on a harp you know what i mean when you're singing from your soul do you know what i mean so from that 10th verse it says i'm gonna read both of them together nine and ten i will sing a new song to you O god on the 10th string larry i will make music to you to the one who gives victory to kings who delivers his servant David from the deadly swords? Who deliver me and rescue me from the hands of foreigners whose mouths are full of lies, whose right hands are deceitful? It repeats it twice in this scripture, in this whole chapter. So, like I said, this is a prayer of protection for me. I'm happy that I, I followed my soul, my heart, and obedience and just went back to, you know, read it and check up on what the universe was wanting me to see, want me to read. And this is what this is saying to me. So this is how the universe communicates to me. And this is another way. Um, trust me, my mind be blown when I see things just appear out of nowhere. You know, I know that's the universe, that's light beings, that's angels, that's my ancestors, spirit guides. My whole team, they be showing me things, you know, and it's like we just got to take heed if you're connected, you know, like that, or you just are very observant, but definitely connected. You know, they're talking to us every day. We just got to stand still and look, pay attention, you know, watch, listen uh, to what they are trying to tell us, show us. But this, just reading this chapter really like just filled my, my soul. It watered my soul, to be honest, of what's going on or what they're telling me that they're doing behind the scenes for me. And just reading this is uh, Psalms 144 at that 144. <laughs> Psalms 144, David. 
for um, it's, I'm going to read one. It says, Praise be the Lord of my rock, who trains my hands for war, my fingers for battle. And then I'm going to read three. O oh Lord, what a man that you care for, the son of man that you think of him. Um, let me read two. I'll just read one to three. Again, praise be the Lord, my rock, who trains my hands for war, my fingers for battle. He is my loving God and my fortress, my stronghold and my deliverer, my shield and whom I take refuge, who subdues people under me. O oh Lord, what is that man you care for him, the son of man that you think of him? Hmm. I'm going to go ahead and read four. Man is like a breath. His days are like a fleeting shadow. So this is telling, just before I read four, this part is telling me, and I had to look it up. And you know, I've been feeling like that too. But just that part that I read to you just now, it was saying to for us not to lean on our own understanding, but to lean on God uh, for everything. And that's an everyday practice, I'm telling you. And when you really lean on him and trust in him and don't we don't weather away, you know what I mean? Don't be fleety. You literally lean on him. He makes ways out of no way, y'all. Like I said, um, I was just so blessed to see my birthday from previous incident that occurred in my life, um, car accident wise. So... Yeah, this is a spiritual, physical battle that we're really fighting. Definitely spiritual. But I just, you know, I thank him for seeing huh, this, my, my year, my birth year, and still be here till this day to deliver this message to everybody. You know, life is like a breath. Your days are like a fleeting shadow. You have to really appreciate living in the present and moment to prepare yourself for the future. Like you have to make changes and like I'm taking in my own advice right now because my ancestors and spirit guides, this message, they scold me. They like correct me, you know what I mean? And it's said in a word that, you know, Whoever God corrects or scolds is those that he really, truly loves. So trust me, I get scold and it don't feel good. <laughs> I get corrected and it don't feel good at times. But I thank him. You know what I mean? You know, like I was saying before, the scripture just read like, yeah, we have to not lean on our own understanding, but trust him. When I went on my birthday trip, it was like a trip that I, when I went to Cali, it was like a trip that I always wanted to, to take when I wasn't able to do it. And guys, you know, like I waited for this trip for a long ass time. <laughs> You know, like just to travel by myself, no restrictions, no judgment, uh, no fear. Um, and to have the finances to do so. Back in the day, you know, I was married, you know, and just from other videos, you've seen how I explained or how I felt with my separation. Like that was restriction. You know what I mean? That I was going through. People I had to take care of. Not taking care of myself. Not enjoying life. Not experiencing life. Um, and experiencing it abundantly. I was feeling restricted. So that trip really meant a lot to me. And I know it was from heaven. Because just how it panned out for me to go to be able to afford to go 
in that nick of time. And I just felt like I know I was going to connect with my father. I just felt it, the energy, just a lot of spiritual things that was good that happened to me last year. And before I went on my birthday trip and um, I just know that I was going to connect with him and he was literally going to share or talk to me. Um, and I experienced a lot of supernatural things. I paid attention traveling there and coming back. Trust me, he was talking to me. My spirit team was showing me things. And like I said, that's when I heard him say from last year, anybody that does anything will reap instant karma. Anything that anybody does against me will reap instant karma. So, you know, he, he warned me last year about that, but he showed me other things. And I just woke up and smiled, you know, and just was feeling so happy and at peace. That trip was really meant to be and as a female, usually, I don't know if y'all feel this way, but, you know, if you uh, was sheltered or just always in the house, you know, being a homebody, and then you go out there and experience the world and you're just like shocked, not even culture shocked, but literally like world shocked, like you get electrocuted <laughs> in your body from just everything you're experiencing in the world on your own it's like everything is new to you and you can get into some good or bad things you know what i mean and with you know the karma you accumulate comes consequences so man um what was the point i was making here it's like when you are like shelter you know what i mean and then you experience life for the first time or just by yourself you get scared because a lot of people will install that fear in you you know what i mean so then you're not used to being on your own traveling on your own living on your own doing things by yourself and that's how i grew up you know i felt like i had to have somebody there and eventually I became their shadow. And that's not a good feeling. You know what I mean? Because we're not here to be nobody's shadow. So I had to get out of that. But anyway, to make a long story short, before I let y'all go, just traveling last year, and that was my first time um, really like going out there to travel by myself. Um, and then to come back home you know what I mean? By myself. Well, my daughter was here, but just doing everything by myself. That really felt damn good. And then I wasn't like scared because a lot of things are going on now. You know what I mean? So people, you know, will install fear because they either care or they install fear because they want you to stay stuck. It's either one, you know what I mean? And you have to take it with a grain of salt and to absorb what really will help you soar, help you grow, help you fly. Or you're just going to be stuck and stagnant and being double-minded on, should I go, should I stay? Should I go, should I stay? And miss out on experiencing what, you know, the universe, what God has to show you, um, what all he has to offer you. So I'm taking this in myself. I'm only telling you this because this is what I've experienced in my life. And I'm just thanking God to have experienced that trip from last year because I waited for years to do something like that. Don't get me wrong. I did road trips by myself, you know, in the past and now. But like to literally fly into another city you know what i mean this just expands me to want to travel more by myself um and i will <laughs> so you know i just feel blessed and i just treasure the present moments um that i'm going through 
whether they're good or bad, it's like you have to give praise and give thanks. And it's hard. You know, people don't see you cry. They don't see your tears. They don't see your struggles unless you explain it or talk about it. You know what I mean? They don't see everything you got to go through to make ends meet um, as a, a as a divine being here on this earth, you know, or just as a person. They don't see. Um, they only see your victories, your wins. They only see what you post or what you want people to see or, you know, that I show. They don't see everything else behind the scenes, you know. So, you know, I know I've earned my stripes. <laughs> and I'm going to keep earning my stripes um, and continue just being this, this strong person I am. So, yeah, people, um, just want to encourage the collective to... Pay attention <laughs> when the universe is talking to you because they only want the best for us. So I really, really appreciate uh, the messages they send me, whether it's warning, guidance, or just, you know, loving messages. Um, and I do appreciate their energy and their protection. So continue to hold on this roller coaster ride going through this Mercury retrograde because things are just, I'm telling you, it's being swooped. It's like a thief in a night. Things are just being erased and taken out of our life and out of our way. And I'm at this point in energy where I'm like, I only can do what I can. You know what I mean? And if things are not meant to be, just let it be. You know, I'm just letting it go. Um, I can't fight, you know what I mean, to hold on to anything that's not meant to stay. And that goes with anything in my life. So I just thank God. Where there's a will, there's a way, collective. Um, and you continue to just hold on, hang in there. Don't give up. Get up every day with a new mindset. Try and continue to just do new things. You know, every day we wake up is a, a brand new day, you know, so we have to continue again, just enjoying the moments that we're living in, the present, uh, for God to, or the universe to bless us and make more uh, memories for us to share, for us to remember um, in our lives, experiences for us to to go through um it will only make us stronger you know what i mean or it can make you weak depends on the fight in you you know what i mean this journey is a marathon people it is not <laughs> a race it is not a fast track this is a marathon that we're continuously running i'm telling you I've had dreams where I was literally on a track <laughs> running with animals and people like, oh my gosh, sound the horn. I heard the horn is, I'll be dreaming some crazy stuff, but my spirit guides was telling me to keep going pretty much is what that dream was telling me to keep going. And I dreamed that dream months ago. <sighs> so yes, keep going guys my collective um i probably will take a rest after this i just had to get this off my chest because it was heavy <laughs> this energy is no joke no joke so if they're taking things out of your life guys and my collective just take your hands off of it let it go let it be and ask god to take the will in Jesus' name, or whoever you serve, for them to take the will. I'll go ahead and show the clip that I saw the other day. It blew my mind. Um, but I always take heed when I see things like that. 
All right, so this is Harastagal, aka Angelic Empress. Until next time, signing off. I see you when I see you. Take care.